Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome. If you are new here, my name is Ruby, I live in New York City, and this is my lifestyle channel. If you haven't already, please take a second to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. We are trying to reach 7K, that is the next goal here for this channel. I post new videos three times a week, so there's always like tons of new content to watch. And also while you're at it, be sure to go ahead and follow me on TikTok as well. I post daily content on there, like multiple pieces of content a day, and we are so close to hitting 20,000 over there. For today's video, we have a Sephora haul, which you guys know. I love filming a good Sephora haul. I love watching a Sephora haul. I feel like recently on TikTok, my For You page has just been like a constant stream of people in their cars doing Sephora hauls. And so, you know, maybe seeing all of that influenced me, but I actually had quite a few things that I've needed to pick up recently as far as repurchases go. But then I also have some new items that I'm going to incorporate into new videos both on here and on my TikTok because I definitely do a lot of beauty content over there as well. So I wanted to pick up some stuff for content over there but also stuff that I could use for YouTube. This haul is definitely collective. A couple of these things I purchased right before the new year and then I went to Sephora two times last week, um, which is the stuff that's in this bag here. So yeah, definitely collective, but quite a few things to go through. I feel like this is one of the largest Sephora hauls that I've ever done when there hasn't been a sale. You guys know, usually I do go a little crazy during the VIB sales because I am a rouge, but recently there's just been a lot of things that I've needed to pick up and it kind of accumulated to a pretty decent sized haul, so I thought why not film it for you guys. Without further ado, I think we should just jump into the haul video. I'm gonna have links for everything that I mention down below. But yeah, let's just jump right in. Okay, so I guess I'll start with what I purchased kind of like the earliest. I finally got my hands on the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. This is in the light shade. I've actually already filmed a tutorial using this. I'm um, kind of like my first impressions as well. So if you haven't watched that already, definitely be sure to go do so. It's only a couple videos back on my channel. But if you haven't seen this palette before, this is what it looks like. You get a cream blush, a beautiful highlight, and then five of her just incredible formulas of her eyeshadows. I have been obsessed with this like easily this is already I can tell it's gonna be one of my favorite makeup products of 2022 the eyeshadows blend beautifully the blush I'm obsessed with the highlight is gorgeous um these two eyeshadow shades here are so shimmery and glossy and they just look so luxe like I said this was just like such a good purchase this is not only a repurchase for me but this is my third bottle of this product and I can't remember if I've ever talked about it on my channel until now this is a mouthful but this is from first aid beauty and this is their anti-dandruff scalp serum with 2% salicylic acid here's what the packaging looks like so this is a relatively new product for first aid beauty it came out a couple months ago um and I really wanted to try this I actually Actually don't deal with dandruff and typically I would say my hair is like normal to oily however in the brutal cold months of winter here in New York City I deal with a very dry itchy scalp which is something that a lot of people deal with and so I saw this product and I thought you know what I'm just gonna try this out because I feel like you know if this is supposed to help dandruff maybe it just also calms down irritation and itchiness this stuff is incredible and it's one of those products you can put in your hair every single day and it doesn't cause buildup it doesn't make your hair oily it doesn't make you need to wash your hair any more than like you typically would it gives this like instantly cooling effect to the scalp but it doesn't burn it doesn't tingle it's super gentle I can't say enough good things about this obviously I can't speak to it helping dandruff but the reviews are stellar so I would definitely pick this up if you've been eyeing it recently I feel like I've heard so many different people talking about the Pat McGrath lip glosses and how incredible they are both like just the colors and the formula and how juicy and glossy they make your lips look it's like a very kind of like lacquered shine look and so i started with this one color this is in the color love potion i saw a couple different creators on both youtube and tiktok um doing this lip combo where they took the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip liner just outlined their lips and then filled it in with this gloss and i was like i have to try that and it is currently now one of my favorite lip combos it makes you look honestly like you have lip injections it's crazy and that's coming from someone who already has a pretty like pouty like set of lips for lack of a better word there is definitely a better way to say that basically what i'm saying is it makes your lips look insane this is what the color looks like it's a really pretty like milky nude with very small hints of like a gold reflux to it yeah it's seriously so pretty i'm obsessed with everything about this formula and just like the way it looks on the lips and i was so obsessed with this 
that I went back to my Sephora and I picked up two more colors. Because Love Potion is a little bit lighter, this is a really good lip gloss to like mix with like darker liners or kind of like what I was talking about. But these two, because they're a little deeper, are very, very pretty to wear both on their own but also mixing. So here we have the color Divine Rose and this is a really pretty like pinky mauve. And then this is the color Sunset Rose. It looks pretty similar in the two but I promise it looks very different on the lips. This one definitely has more of like a pink and gold reflux to it. I don't know if you can see. There are the two colors together. This is Divine Rose and this is Sunset Rose. This definitely leans a little bit more peachy. This is more mauve. Clearly I've been all about trying new lip products because up next I picked up another color of the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss lipstick balms. These are everything. I've talked about them so much on TikTok. I feel like this is one of those products that, like once people catch on it's gonna like be so hard to find it in stock. I already have the shade Pillow Talk in this formula which I'm obsessed with. It's literally the iconic Pillow Talk color just in a slightly different formula and I saw this color on the website and I just thought it was really pretty and really simple like good for just everyday kind of like no makeup makeup. This is in the color Crystal Happy Kiss and it's just this really pretty very sheer pink. I kind of get very like Dior lip glow vibes from this. So pretty though. You just have to be careful because once you twist this product up, you can't retract it at all. When I saw this product right here, I knew instantly that this was like one of the launches that I was the most excited about so far for the year. And so I wanted to pick up at least two colors. These are the brand new Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums. These are unlike anything I've ever tried before. Honestly, the most like comparable product to me personally would be the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss lipsticks, but these are still different. These literally like melt onto your lips. It almost feels like it's like water on your lips. They tingle a little bit. So they are slightly plumping, not anything crazy. Like to me, the thing that makes these so special isn't even like the plumping effect that you may or may not get. It's the formula and just the way that these feel. So like I said, I picked up two colors and once I have more room in my makeup collection, like once I use up a couple other lip products that are currently in my collection, I'm going to go get the rest of the colors. So up first we have the color Color Bare Glow, which I just love the soft matte packaging. This is everything. Very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Once you twist this up, you can't like retract it. Here's what the color looks like. Like even the texture is so interesting. You can see how it just like instantly melts the second it touches your lips. This is definitely not a lip product that you're gonna wanna keep like in your car during the summertime. <laughs> I also got the color Bronze Glow. This is so pretty. I'm obsessed with this. And they're still like semi sheer. So it's definitely not as intense as it looks in the tube. So excited about these though. I love Makeup by Mario. I feel like not only is he just an incredible artist, but I'm so excited for like every single launch that he's been coming out with. They genuinely just like excite me, which is how you know that you have a good brand. It's just innovative, something different. Okay, now let's move on to everything that I purchased like last week into this week. One of my holy grail skincare products is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. You guys know I use this literally almost every single night. Now this is a product that definitely does not work for everybody, but if it works for your skin, you know this is like a life-changing skincare product. And I ran out of my bottle, so I went to Sephora and I saw that Sephora for a limited time was selling a jumbo size. Honestly, I should have grabbed more, but like, it's okay. This will definitely last me for a hot second. So this is eight fluid ounces. I believe this is literally like double the size of like the standard bottle. I am just so excited though. I believe this is $44. I think it's like a little bit of a discount Count when you kind of like do the math and compare but yeah love this product I use it after my toner before all of my serums it helps with any active breakouts that I have discoloration if I'm dealing with like clogged pores this instantly gets rid of them it's such a good resurfacing product you guys I also needed to pick up a new daytime eye cream now typically I use the Sephora collection eye cream you guys know I love it it's like $17 I think I've gone through at least 10 of the containers, but they just reformulated it and it hasn't hit my Sephora yet, which I'm hoping that it's still like just as good. I'm honestly so worried. If it would have been there, I would have picked it up because I'm eager to try it and the original formula is like one of my favorite things in the world, but they didn't have it at my store yet and I didn't have time to wait to like order it online and have it come in because I was all out of eye cream. So I thought, you know what? We'll try something new. I went like clicking around on the website to see what was available at my store and I found this. Again, another first aid beauty 
beauty product. Can you tell that I've kind of been obsessed with them recently? This is their hydrating eye cream with hyaluronic acid. Now I believe that this is a pretty new product to them. Don't quote me on that. I think it said new on the website, but I know that they've had an eye cream in the past. I really love First Aid Beauty because all their products are super gentle and it says that this eye cream is safe for sensitive eyes. I wouldn't say that I have sensitive eyes per se, but the skin underneath your eyes is some of the most delicate skin on your body. So it's very important to be very gentle and be very careful with whatever you put, uh, you know, underneath your eye. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. It was definitely a little pricey, especially for the size, but I'm hoping a little bit goes a long way. And like I said, this is just going to be my daytime eye cream. So I'm only going to be using it once a day. It is no secret. I've talked about it on my channel so much that I absolutely despise dry shampoo. Like I hate dry shampoo with a passion. I don't know what it is. It's just never worked for me. I feel like it makes my scalp and my hair just feel so gross and not refreshed. And no matter what brand I try, no matter whose recommendations I listen to, I'm just always left very sad and disappointed. <laughs> but sometimes I really want to use dry shampoo. I'm somebody whose hair actually stays clean for quite a few days, but there are times where like, oh, I wish I could just extend the style for like one more day, but I hate dry shampoo. So I got the mini size of this. That way, if I don't like it, it's no big deal. I can also just always return this as well. But I wanted to try the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo because I feel like this is such an OG product and everybody loves it. And it's like the one dry shampoo that I haven't tried yet. So I don't know. I'm hopeful. I love Dry Bar products. They've always worked very well for my hair. Like I said, I just got the mini size and this is in the original scent I'll definitely keep you guys posted probably on TikTok. that's where I've been doing like a lot of quick reviews it smells so good though that's for sure like I love the way the dry bar products smell so yeah I'll let you guys know we'll see I don't know but I am excited okay and then everything else that I picked up are makeup items that are brand new to me that I'm gonna be featuring in content if you know me at all you know that I am a die-hard beauty sponge user when it comes to my foundation and my concealer and I don't think that's ever gonna change for foundation I have tried so many brushes so many different techniques and at the end of the day a beauty sponge is just my favorite I think it makes your skin look flawless it makes any foundation just look so good but recently I have been wanting to try blending out my concealer in certain areas with a brush. And this one really caught my eye. I have very high hopes for this. This is from Rare Beauty and this is their Liquid Touch uh, Concealer Brush. You guys know I've been obsessed with Rare Beauty. Like they're easily one of my favorite makeup brands. I talk about them constantly. And there's just something about this brush that really caught my eye and I feel like it's gonna work so well. So if you can see, it's definitely like angled. And even on the top, it's almost like triangular. I just think this is gonna be really good for like blending around my nose and little like blemishes. Even like on the inner corner of my under eye. I don't know, I'm very excited to try this. It's super soft, but it's not super fluffy. It's definitely a little bit denser, which I think is great for a concealer brush. I don't know, it just looked different to me and I feel like this is really gonna work. So if it does, I'll feature it in a makeup tutorial and if not, I'm going back to my beauty sponge life. Speaking of Dior Lip Glow, because I mentioned that a little while ago when talking about the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss Lipstick, I picked up yet another shade of the Dior Addict Lip Glow Balm. I love this lip balm. It is not only one of my favorite makeup products, but one of my favorite beauty products in general. They are gorgeous on the lips. It's so low maintenance and like so no fuss, especially like during the spring and summer when you just want something really easy on the lips. It's gonna give you a kiss of color, but also really hydrate the lips. And I mean, honestly, these are great for even in the winter too obviously because you can use all the hydration that you can get but I feel like spring and summer is like the season for lip balms. I had been waiting for this color to come back in stock at my store and it finally did so I picked it up. This is in the color mahogany. I actually have the Dior lip glow oil in this same shade but I really wanted the balm to kind of either pair together or just wear on its own. It's the packaging honestly at this point I feel like Dior should just sponsor me. I have literally almost every shade in their lip glow oils, almost every shade in their lip maximizer glosses and now this is my fourth or fifth color in their in their um, lip balms. Here is what the color looks like. It's a really pretty, almost kind of like 90s, kind of like berry brown color. Super sheer on the lips though, so definitely don't be intimidated by this. I've always loved though a very like 90s inspired lip, so I feel like I'm really gonna like this. I also love the smell of these. It's like vanilla, but also like 
minty. I don't know, I'm obsessed with it. I've really been loving a very, very glowy makeup routine recently, and I feel like even though I have combination skin, I've really mastered it as of lately. And so I thought that this next product would just be like a great addition to like my glowy makeup routine and my glowy makeup products. And actually speaking of TikTok, I feel like this was a product once that literally everybody and their mother was using, so I'm like the last person on earth to finally try this, but I'm so excited. This is from Iconic London, and this is their um, liquid illuminator, and it's in the shade Original. This is actually my first product ever from Iconic London, but it's a brand that I've been very interested in, and again, a lot of products have just like really been speaking to me recently. This is literally like a super intense liquid highlight, but I feel like if I use it right, it can still look very natural and just kind of like lift from within. I've also seen some people on both TikTok and YouTube use this underneath their foundation to just make it extra glowy. I think that's gonna be a little too much for me, um, so I'm probably just gonna stick with using this um, either as a liquid highlight or mixing it in with a liquid blush to make it more, just like more luminous. So this shade original is just a gorgeous champagne color. I know that they also have a rose gold one as well. It was a little bit too deep for me. The applicator looks a little messy. It's like a dropper applicator, but if the product itself is amazing, then that really doesn't bother me. Lastly, but certainly not least, I have two new concealers and two new foundations that I am so excited to try, you have no idea. Let's start with the concealers because this is actually a concealer that I used to use and I used it for a long time and then I stopped a couple of years ago, like right before the pandemic. And so I was like, why did I stop using this concealer? Let me pick it up again purchase it, play with it, and see what I think. And I am talking about the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is a OG makeup product that I feel like so many people love. I've never really heard of a person not liking this concealer. I wanted to get one for my under eyes and one to spot correct on my face. So for my under eye shade, and I literally just tried to like very quickly match myself in store. I don't know if this is gonna be an exact match, but I think I did okay. For my under eyes, I got the shade Madeline Light 2.3. Here's what the packaging on the box looks like. I like a fairly bright under eye, so I think this is actually going to work, and it has a pretty neutral undertone, which is very rare for NARS. I feel like NARS runs so yellow. So shade matching, especially for someone like me who is very neutral, can be tricky, but I think this is gonna work. And then for my like face shade, I went with the shade Custard Medium 1. I feel like typically, especially as I get more tan in the warmer months, I live in like a medium 1, medium 1.5 range for like any brand. Basically just like a light, medium, neutral, for lack of a better word. All right, here's Custard. I feel like this is a very popular shade too, because there's only one left. Okay, wow, I think that that's actually gonna be like literally my perfect shade. Here they are next to each other. They look super, super similar in the um, container, but I promise on the face and swatch, they look very different. Lastly, like I said, I picked up two foundations, one of which has been on the market for quite some time, and the other one is literally a brand new release. I feel like 2022 is gonna be the year of luminous foundations and skin tints. I feel like we're just falling in love more and more every Every day with like a no makeup makeup look, a glowy kind of lit from within makeup look. And I feel like these two foundations are just gonna be A plus and like really lean into that. So let's start with the one that isn't brand new to Sephora and just to the market in general. I literally have not heard anybody talk about this foundation before, but I was on the Sephora website just kind of browsing and I was like, that seems like it is literally right up my alley. And it's also from a brand that I adore, one of my top all-time favorite brands. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. It has SPF 15 in it, which is amazing. I love when foundations have SPF built in. Just off of like first impressions and when I read on the website and pictures that I saw, this gives me very similar vibes to the Glossier Skin Tint, which you guys know is one of my all-time favorite complexion products. But unlike the Glossier Skin Tint, this has SPF in it. It's also more of a luxury product. It's more of a luxury price point. I picked up mine in the shade 4.5 Fair, um, which on the website I believe was just called like a light to medium neutral. Let's just give it up for the packaging. Oh, Charlotte Tilbury, it literally never disappoints. So this is basically a very light to almost extremely minimal coverage foundation. It's not going to cover blemishes. It's just gonna help kind of even out your skin tone. And then, you know, if you want more coverage, then you go in and you spot correct with a concealer. I love a product like this though, you guys know. I feel like it just makes your makeup look the most natural when you use a foundation like this. And then like I said, spot conceal 
with a more heavy duty concealer. It just looks more like your skin and like you're not wearing a ton of makeup. I'm so excited for this though. It has a little squeezy tube. And like I said, although I read a lot about this online, I didn't see a lot of reviews for this. So I'm really excited. So that, like I said, is gonna give you very light, super minimal coverage. Whereas this foundation on the other hand is gonna give you slightly more coverage. It's still light to medium, but it's also gonna be very glowy and just like super luminous. I am so excited for this. Literally like TikTok made me buy this. I saw so many beauty content creators talking about this. I was like, okay, I need this foundation in my life. Again, this is from NARS and this is actually my first NARS foundation ever. Can you believe that? Actually, wait, that's a lie. I used to have the Radiant foundation, but that was like years ago. Anyways, this is the new light reflecting foundation already by the name. I'm just like, yes, give it to me. This is in the shade medium 1.2 Patagonia. It's basically again, a light to medium with a neutral undertone. Now, I will say it still pulls a little yellow, but definitely not as much as a typical NARS complexion product would. This is also really cool because again, I feel like in 2022, we're seeing a lot of foundation plus skincare products. I actually, what I'm wearing today is the It Cosmetics um, Foundation Plus Skincare Foundation, and I'm obsessed with it. And this is saying that it's kind of similar in the sense that it's powered by skincare ingredients and it helps to strengthen the skin's barrier, maintain moisture. 93% of people said that it uh, improved like their skin tone. Yeah, it says improve skin radiance by 61%, more even skin tone by 93% based on a clinical study. Okay, I'm so excited though. It also says medium, buildable coverage, natural finish, breathable, all day wear. Yes, yes to all of that. Also, can we just give it up for NARS? Like their super classic packaging. This does everything for me. Here is what the foundation itself looks like. It's in a beautiful glass bottle, the matte black cap. You have a pump, which can get a little hard to get the last bit of product out, but that's okay. I am so excited about this. Like I said, every single review that I saw online, people were raving about this. It works for normal skin, dry skin, combo skin. If you have super oily skin, I think it's kind of a personal preference and it's up to you. I feel like this would also be a beautiful bridal foundation as well. Something like I said, that's luminous, it's skin-like, it's not too glowy, but it's not like a flat matte foundation. Don't get me wrong, there's still definitely a time and a place for that, but I feel like I have just moved so much more towards the natural finish, the luminous finish. I just can't wait to use this though. I am so freaking excited. I'm probably gonna do a first impressions on TikTok and then incorporate it into a makeup tutorial here on my channel. So yeah, I can't wait. But that you guys is everything for the Sephora haul. I know we definitely chatted quite a bit, but there was also a lot to get through. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And again, click that subscribe button down below. We're trying to reach 7K. That is the next goal here for this channel. Be sure to follow me on all of my other social media networks, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Clubhouse. Check out my Amazon shop. The links for everything are always down below. I love you guys so much. I hope that you all are staying safe, happy, and healthy. And I will talk to you guys again very, very soon in my next video. Okay? Bye, everybody.